Hello, and welcome to GreenBiz Studio. I'm John Schmea, Vice President of Circularity and Senior Analyst here at GreenBiz. I'm excited to welcome Pierre Labat to the studio. Pierre serves as the Senior Vice President and Chief Sustainability Officer at Novellus. Pierre, great to see you. Great to see you, John. I wonder if you could start by telling us a little bit about Novellus for those who aren't familiar with the company. Absolutely. Um, Novellus is the leading producer of flat rolled aluminum and the world's largest uh, aluminum recycler. We employ about 15,000 employees and we run rolling and recycling operations at 33 locations across the globe, nine countries, uh, North America, South America, Europe, and Asia. So um, we're a global company. Um, we're driven by a purpose of shaping a sustainable world together. And we work alongside our customers to provide high quality, innovative products and solutions to the aerospace, automotive, beverage can, and building and construction markets. Our customers include um, large and well-known global brands such as Coca-Cola, um, AB InBev, Bull, Crown, uh, Ford, Tesla, Jaguar Land Rover, Samsung, Airbus, and Boeing, to, to name a few. And um, our engineers partner with our customers to reimagine aluminum's role in their products and provide uh, rapid and sustainable solutions for their manufacturing needs. So that's what we do in, a, in short. Excellent, that's, that's quite the list of customers. Uh, I noticed uh, that over 60% of your input is recycled content, and that represents about a 96% increase since 2010, uh, very impressive. I was just wondering, what's the next step for Novellus on the circular model, and how do you anticipate you'll get there? So firstly, we recycle because circularity is key uh, to carbon reduction. Uh, so think about this, recycling aluminum requires just 5% of the energy required to produce primary aluminum. So, you know, recycling avoids an equivalent amount of greenhouse gas emissions, uh, so 95% in, uh, reduction, and that in turn helps Novelis and our customers to greatly reduce carbon emissions in their supply chain. Um, our goal is to reduce our carbon footprint by 30%, and to be carbon neutral by 2050 or sooner. We work with our customers to develop alloys or products, if you will, that are as high as possible in recycled content to maintain the performance characteristics uh, required for their particular use case. And uh, to do that, we invest heavily in R&D so that we can continue to innovate and design novel alloys. Now, the more segregated the alloys are after the product is used by our customers, uh, the easier it is to recycle to the same alloy. So our customers can help by investing in segregation um, of their process scrap at the source. And if they don't, so absent uh, source segregation, sorting technologies are an enabler to get to a, a, a higher recycle content. So we're working with technology companies in that space to bring new ideas to scale quicker. And we will bring such technologies to market starting with um, our latest recycling center in uh, Guthrie, Kentucky in 2024. Excellent. So recycling is definitely a big part of the sustainability strategy. And I think you mentioned some of the limitations or some of the, the challenges. Um, are there specific industries that there are higher hurdles for recycled content and or how are you working to overcome those? We will increase the recycled content um, going forward because we keep investing in new recycling centers. And um, you know we do this because the circular model makes sense. Um, think about this, 75% of all aluminum ever produced is still in use today. And our duty is to keep the material in flow for its highest use without sacrificing performance. In other words, you know, avoiding downcycling or downgrading. So if you think about the packaging industry, uh, the beverage can, for instance, uh, globally, the recycled content rate is about 73%. Um, having said this, we need to improve the recycling rate, especially in the US. Um, in some countries like um, 
Brazil, Germany, we see very high recycling rates for aluminum, uh, almost nearing 100%. In Europe, together with our customers, we are committed to achieving 100% um, recycling of beverage cans by 2030. But in the US, we see a very different picture um, where the consumer recycling rate for aluminum um, cans, at least, fell to 46% in 2019, dipping below the 20-year average of uh, 50%. And um, according to a recent study done by the, the Can Makers Institute, that equates to 45 billion aluminum cans that could be recycled, uh, but they end up in uh, in landfills each year in the US alone. And that represents $800 million of, of wasted value. And of course, uh, a lot of, uh, you know, CO2 that we could we could save. So um, even though can is the most recycled um, media of all uh, packaging, still it shows that it goes to show that there's always more that we can do uh, and that we should be doing in the US. Now, um, we have uh, in the um, uh, stadiums, if you go to, to Atlanta, if you go to the, the Mercedes-Benz Stadium and other stadiums, you'll see that there is a, uh, a new cup, a new ball cup that's, uh, that's available there. This one is uh, certified up to 90% recycled content. And uh, we've worked with ball to, to create an alloy and to, to be able to, uh, to close the loop on, on this product. So we're very proud of, uh, of this product. In the automotive market, um, we have a, a number of closed loop recycling partnerships with our customers. I could name a few like Ford or Jaguar or Land Rover, which means that we take the process crap back directly into our operations. And what's really good with this is that the same truck or the same train that brings the finished goods to the customer is bringing the scrap back. And so this is a, a real uh, closed loop. Now, we are um, trying to do more of those with a lot of other customers. We have that also with Nissan. BMW, Volvo, and we keep adding, so that will help increase the, the recycled content going forward. And it's, it's amazing the impact it has. If you think of uh, Ford, for instance, Ford could produce 37,000 F-150 truck bodies each month just with the scrap that they are sending back to us and that is being recycled. So it's a, it's a significant, uh, significant impact. We do the same in Europe uh, with J. Rowland Land Rover. Um, we have reclaimed 45,000 tons of aluminum scrap, which equates to 93,000 Range Rover Sport. Um, so it's, it's a lot of, uh, of CO2. And uh, it's actually more than 400,000 tons of CO2 that uh, we, we you know, avoided um, with that uh, closed loop. Um, in parallel, we're preparing for the increase of uh, aluminum in the in today's cars, which will uh, reach their end of service life uh, in the future. So we continue to develop new alloys and to optimize the products with higher recycle content, working together with our customers. Um, we've done this with Jaguar Land Rover, where we have products containing up to 75% of recycle content, mixing process scrap and end of life uh, scrap, and they're using that into their Jaguar XC model. Um, and in addition, we work with car makers to design for end of life. So we, for instance, we design doors out of one single alloy to make it easier and um, easier to recycle. And we also work with them on designing the doors to make them dismantling friendly so that we can really uh, take those components back uh, into our operations. Um, we've also partnered with adjacent uh, uh, automotive players uh, by co-founding Alumobility, it's a consortium of uh, auto-centric partners, and we work together to make um, aluminum solutions easier to adopt uh, for the car makers, but also to make them easier to recycle uh, going forward. And uh, finally, we've established a network of what we call global customer solution uh, centers. So we have that in Shanghai, in Stuttgart, and in Detroit to accelerate the collaborative uh, innovation between Novelis and our customers um, for the next generation of vehicle design and to make uh, sustainability part of the, the design from the, 
from the get-go. And we're doing the same on the beverage can. We're building a new, brand new customer solution center in Sao Paulo in Brazil. Excellent. So it sounds like all of the, the circular economy as well as the carbon goals sort of go hand in hand for Novellus. This is really exciting. Uh, I just want to thank you, Pierre, for joining GreenBiz Studio today. Uh, you all just heard from Pierre Labat, Senior Vice President and Chief Sustainability Officer for Novellus. Thanks for having me, John.